So you are back with the squash pod again, and this time we've got none other than Tesney Evans with us. <laughs> hey, how so, are you doing? Yeah, really, really good. So um, for a lot of people listening, they may not even be aware of who Tesney Evans is. So let me enlighten them. Okay, so, so Tesney Evans, seven times Welsh champion, little, little pause, yeah? <laughs> two times British champion, and the first Welsh woman to break into the top ten. And you've now regained that top nine spot, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. So, absolutely amazing. So, Tesney, I suppose you never tire of hearing the stats, do you? <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Yeah? Do you, do you uh, tell them to yourself every, every day? Or? No, definitely. No? I definitely do not. <laughs> <laughs> when you walk into a room. <laughs> Tesney <laughs> Evans coming through. Yeah. No, definitely. No. No, no. Um, so, Tesney, um, you are renowned for working with young, young people in squash. Mm -hmm. And Squash Wales are doing fantastic things in getting people into squash. Um, here tonight, we're doing some fantastic things. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing to see some kids enjoying themselves with you on such an amazing level. So what exactly um, do you get out of helping youngsters get into the game? Why do you love it so much? I think I, think I love it so much because I love the sport so much. Yeah. Um, I just want to see people enjoying it, you know? and it's important like when I was a kid I had role models I had people that I looked up to and the people that took me on court and started me off and was that your it, dad or yeah exactly yeah. like my dad and there was a few people at St. Melons and you know when I was a kid and not really playing you yeah know, I couldn't really hit the ball or and people would take their time out after a match to just you know hit a few balls with me and it meant the world to me yeah yeah so that's what I try and like sort of reciprocate back to kids and if that makes their day and going on court and hitting a few balls around having a game like it's nothing out of my yeah. day really so yeah I just love it and I hope that you know as the Wizards and all the Welsh players that are doing so good at the minute can literally get more people playing in squash in Wales yeah yeah, yeah. I mean one thing there's so much feedback about you, Tesney, is that how approachable you are and how lovely you are. Um, and that's lies, that's lies. <laughs> no, I'm okay. just kidding. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we all know that's not true. So um, I know that a lot of people in Wales would want to thank you and, you know, you're just incredible for what you're doing for the sport. So what are we doing tonight um, for kids? So what, what is Goldmine and what, what, how are you involved with that? Um, the gold mines are just um, another initiative to get the children in playing and I don't know how it works down here, obviously being from North Wales, my sister actually runs one up where we live um, and they're just amazing and they get people that are probably either ne never played or they're just interested and they can bring people and it's like three pound I think for a session and, yeah. and it's just basically a coach is there to go on call with people and and involve them in it and I think they've grown from having a couple people to like basically having like 20-25 people in them. So. so what can kids in Wales do to get involved in this program? Um, I'm not sure like, on this. Will they ask their PE teacher yeah, or contact Yeah, I think, I contact, think they're, squash they're lo contact Squash Wales but they, yeah. they run basically around in all the local centres, so yeah. centres and um, like they have one here at the National Centre, I think. And yeah, um, yeah they're, they're all around Wales, whether you're north, mid, um, or south, and they're a great initiative, and people are doing great stuff with them, really. Yeah, okay. Only two other things I want to ask you, yep. Tesney. Um, a little bit of our podcast this month is around technology and squash. Yeah. Um, what can you talk us through your training routine and how you integrate any kind of technology into that? whether it's gear or tech or technology? Um, so probably to, the biggest thing that would be technology for me would be a sort of heart rate monitor, yeah, um, so watch. And track your fitness. Track, track the fitness sessions. Um, a big one is the, is the track sessions during the summer. Yeah. Um, so basically we'll track, la uh, track lap times, heart rate, yeah. um, how much I'm recovering during those sessions, during the laps. Um, and obviously for timing, most important. Would that thing. be the one bit of gear that you just couldn't do without? Yeah, or is during that... the summer, definitely. Yeah. I would say a, a really good heart rate monitor with tracking and GPS on it. Yeah. Just because then when you log it onto your computer, you can completely see the track. Yeah. So you can literally re-roll the laps and yeah. see sort of how you're recovering at different stages, which is important. So. Super, super. Yeah. Um, last question. Um, anyone who's thinking about playing squash mm -hmm. or getting into it, yeah. what would you advise them? Um, stick with it. I think for a beginner who's never played before, it's very difficult, and they probably don't really understand rules and sort of everything going on. Yeah. Um, I think from the outside, it can be quite complicated, but in reality, it's very simple. But I would say stick with it, and 
and I would highly advise when you first start playing is to get a little bit of coaching just as no you know forehand backhand no just know what you're doing and then play as many games as possible and yeah. enjoy it yeah brilliant Tesney no thank you so much and good luck tonight thank you very much thank you